Duck up, get your top hit. Clean and cool, we pull out with the mop sticks. I can let my demons lose, we ride and don't get caught sick. Really, I believed in you and turned out. What's up, you guys? Million Dollar Dreamer back in with yet another million dollar video, man. Try and start things off crazy, start things off in the right way. You know, that being said, I've been watching a lot of content when it comes as far as bettering myself, trying to make more money, trying to get in different avenues, to different buckets to make more revenue for myself, trying to get a house. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to go crazy, man. I'm watching this red pill. I'm overdosing on the red pill. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to knock the, everything off of my vision board. I'm pretty sure you guys have vision boards of yourself, but man, like this year, I owe myself and I owe you guys so much stuff. I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm going to do. I'm just going to just deliver, you know, I'm just tired of pretty much saying I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that not following through or following through late I'm not gonna be that type of person giving y'all broken promises uh, This is taking me taking self accountability for my own actions and as far as me being distant with the whole YouTube stuff As you guys see with this whole title of this video um, You guys are gonna watch a little bit on uh, why I've been working so hard it's to do stuff like this Which I feel so blessed and so grateful to do but on top of that I've also expressed in this video of me wanting to take this whole YouTube stuff seriously man Like I'm really trying to dip into my YouTube bag because I feel like entertainment is just where I belong honestly like <laughs> nothing feels more natural than me being behind a camera or, me, or mix, making anything that someone can take and really grasp from and appreciate and learn from or, or like you know get inspired from that makes any sense man like this this, this, this is where it is this is where I belong man you know what I'm saying this is where I belong I've been watching some education I've been watching some Kevin Samuels here RIP the GOAT and you know, I feel like for myself I really want to work on myself bro I'm just not where I want to be you know what I'm saying like I'm trying to I've been gaining the weight but I don't even know Oh, bro, I'm trying to get the muscle, bro. I feel like I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of lacking. You feel me? Like, I've been trying to, I've been trying to get, you know, I, I got, I got the, I'm working on the money. You know, I got, I got the money. I got the money. You now I'm working on getting the businesses. But now I'm trying to, you know, I, for a time period, I wanted to get the check. You know, I wanted to get the girls, bro. Like, because I've been going on a lot of dates. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of pretty women out here. You know what I'm saying? I've been going on a lot of dates. You know, I've been messing with the Ebony Jones, messing with the Black Queens. You know what I'm saying? I love me. I love me a good little Black Queen. You know what I'm saying? I love me a Black Queen. Find a little, find a little Black Queen. You know what I'm saying? Now, I also, I've been, I've been dabbling with the Latinas. You feel me? I like the Latinas too. I love me. Love me a good looking Kim Kardashian looking Latina. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like the spiciness, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I be messing with that, you know? But also, I like dipping in the Asian sauce too, you know what I'm saying? The duck sauce, we, we wear that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of like going into that too, a little bit. Nothing to the three, I really be, I really rocking with for the most part. But I've been going on a lot of dates, and I'm feeling myself out. But I still, to this day, don't feel at all that I'm where I should be. I'm tired of me being on Instagram, seeing these ball players, basketball players, Football players, soccer players, verified, couple thousand followers, slanging, cheeks, left and right. No, I'm getting some of it. But I'm not first in line. I gotta be first pick. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be first pick. I'll be first in I gotta be first in line, bro. We not gonna be last no more, bro. We gonna be first. But in order for us to be first, we gotta work on ourselves, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get better. We gonna get stronger. We gonna get our businesses up. We gonna get our money up. We gonna, bro, like, look at this, bro. Like, I'm getting, like, I've been, I've been kinda, I'm, I've been eating a little bit, and I've been eating a little bit, I've been working out a little bit too, but I'm not working out enough, you know what I'm saying? I got a little gut, bro. Like, like sometimes when I'm done eating Panda Express, a nigga be looking pregnant, fool. Like, I, and then also, we gotta get tats too, bro. Like, I feel like, bro, I honestly think I'll be slaying, I would be slaying, Three times as battered cheeks if I had tats, bro. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it. I'm, I'm just keeping it real. If a nigga was tatted, bro, nigga, if I was tatted, nigga, it's, it's done, nigga. It's over, nigga. I'm trying to tell you. I already know if a nigga was tatted, covered, rats, bro. But we gonna be getting some tats too. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get tatted up. But you know, this is just a time period that I really wanna just grind, bro. I wanna grind. So hard. I'm gonna be grinding. I'm gonna be going crazy. I'm not gonna tell y'all. I'm not sure if I already said this before, but I'm not about to sit here and tell y'all what I'm about to do. I'm just gonna do it, man. I'm tired of giving y'all all these like false promises, all these things that I'm gonna say I'm gonna do, but I, but then I, I end up doing it late, or I just don't do it at all. Um, I just want to just do it. Um, I, I owe y'all that. I owe myself that. I'm gonna be a good role model for myself. And I'm gonna be a good role model for the people that are still watching and build this platform back up to what it should be. Cause I am so excited to take this YouTube shit serious. As you guys probably already seen this video, it's definitely gonna be taken serious. I'm just like, bro, like, it's just to the point now that I'm just grinding. But I'm not grinding. I'm not even grinding. So I'm not even grinding for the chicks, bro. I'm grinding for myself, bro. We gotta get right, bro. I'm not gonna lie. There do be nights that I do be lonely. And the only thing that's there for me is my right hand, bro. My right hand man is the only thing that's there for me. And the right hand man is not a man. It's not a man. I 
I'm not gay. And it's not a woman either. If it's y'all wondering, if it's not a man, it's not a woman, what is it? Is it a dog? No, it's not a dog. I do have a dog. It's my right hand, literally. My right hand is the only thing I got late at night, bro. And I know I'm in super advanced. I'm like extra smooth with it. Because if I'm in the bathroom, my feet dangling on the floor. Where the bathroom is right here, I got some stairs right here. If you're walking up the stairs, if you look through the crack at the bottom of the door, you can see the shadow of my feet dangling. If I run in the shower water, so you don't hear my balls clacking against my thigh, I gotta turn on the fan and turn on the water high so you don't hear that shit. But if you're walking past, you can see like this nigga definitely sitting on the toilet. Why the fuck this nigga sitting on the toilet when he been running the water for 10 damn minutes? So to prevent that from happening, you know what I do? I put my towel on the crack so you don't see that shit. You think I'm showering. And the whole time when I'm showering, I'm beating my shit, I'm like sprinkling the water side by side while I was falling on the fucking tub floor. Because if I don't, you're not gonna tell that the pattern that the water is hitting the ground is not the same. You feel me? You gotta make sure that the you gotta make sure the pattern of the water is hitting the ground is different. So so it simulates not moving around the shower. Bro, I'm too fucking ahead on niggas, bro. I'm too ahead. You can't catch me, bro. You can't. Every nigga watching this right now, if you in the state that you not trying to get no girl, which I am right now, I don't really want to get a girlfriend too much. I'm really focused on myself. You know, you gotta be a really, 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 really top-notch queen for me to be like, you know what? I I I'll bring you into my life. I'ma rock with you. We can work something out. You see me? But you gotta be like a top-notch chick. Top-notch, my nigga. But besides that. You feel me? Like, I've been having self-sex, bro. Self-sex is the safest sex. Self-sex is the best sex. You can't go wrong, bro. But you just want to be addicted. Then on top of that, you got to put the fucking tower, the fucking towel on the ground by, by the crack on the bottom of the door so motherfuckers don't see that they don't see a shadow of feet dangling above the toilet seat. Like, nigga, this nigga been sitting on the toilet for goddamn 15 minutes. How the fuck? And then, then you got to move the water around the shower so then... It doesn't sound like the same water, so you so it doesn't sound like the same water pattern hitting the floor. Like it sounds different, like someone's moving around in the shower. You know what I'm saying? Then you probably got to move the curtains back and forth a little bit, so it just makes it seem like you're busy. When really you busy, but you getting busy. You know what I'm saying? You're not taking a shower or being your dick. I already spoke about this shit like way before, like in my older videos. But y'all niggas know what it's like, like bro. When I was a virgin, my nigga, I was beating my dick so fucking much, bro. I was beating my dick so fucking much that it get it got to the point that I was getting like super fucking sonic sense hearing, bro. Like I could literally hear anybody. Anybody that was gonna come anywhere near my door, bro, before they even touch my shit, before they even touch my doorknob, the second that they, they're even like five foot, like a radar sonar would just sound off and hit my ear, and I would fix myself real quick, nigga. I'm just sitting there, just chilling. Like you could not catch me beating my dick. Still to the day, I can beat my shit four times in a day, in the bathroom, in my bedroom, in my studio, and in my podcast room, nigga. You cannot catch me, bro. Like, I'm too smooth with it, my nigga. I'm too smooth. I'm a veteran at this point, nigga. 10th prestige, nigga. On some Call of Duty shit. Nigga, five-star GTA, nigga. You can't catch me, my nigga. I, I, I need to get stronger, bro. I gotta get stronger. You know, I gotta open more businesses. I got, I'm about to open this LLC. I'm about to get this house. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get this second car. I'm about to build this YouTube channel back up. Transcend that into what it should be. And I'm not gonna tell y'all, you know, about me putting out content. I'm just gonna do this shit on the main channel. I've been putting a lot of shit on my reaction channel. But as far as the main channel, I'm just gonna do this shit, bro. I'm gonna give this channel and myself and you guys the love you guys deserve. So I appreciate you guys for watching and tuning in. You guys are gonna see pretty much what I've been working so hard for. And um, yeah, let's cut to that shit. Uh, Miles, especially. Yeah. Salute to you, bro. I'm definitely a grown man, man, for sure. Thanks, man. Thank you guys, appreciate you guys. Everything you guys done. I love you. Thank you guys so much. A lot of times, you know, I'm always uh, locked in in the studio, always working. Come home straight from work to go right back to work with the um, YouTube stuff. You guys know I want to take it really serious, especially now. I'm managing four channels and trying to start doing the podcast thing now. I know you guys work a lot too. You come home late from work all the time from Uber. I know you're on the verge of trying to retire, or getting ready to retire. Want to give you all something because you know you guys um, need a break. I know you didn't get that watch, so if you want to get the watch, you can. I know you guys wanted to go to Vegas, didn't have the money to go to Vegas, so with this, <laughs> I don't know where you got this money from, but it better came from you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
always fussing. Thank you. It's all mouse. I know it's all mouse. Hey, Pearl, stop being a hater. Shut up, shut up, dog. You're ruining the moment. Sure you so love to. There you go. So Love you too, man. Y'all really surprised me this year. <laughs> you over here making me tear up and shit. <laughs> <laughs> really? Y'all surprised me. I actually got Capri Sun pouches now have an average of 40% less sugar. And still have the great taste for What better reason to break through the Capri Sun? To give you a taste of that I'm just overwhelmed. That's really, really special gesture, and I'm so grateful. So grateful. Wow. <laughs> Just when you think he ain't appreciate you, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. I love I know. the smell of salt. I always did. I don't feel really appreciated. But the money's good. But still, I need to be heard. I need to be heard. And that's what's the most important thing to me. I appreciate it so much. So much. Thank you. When you told me he was doing that. I want to kind of leave this outro because my mom kind of said a little something that I was thinking about taking out, but I was like, no, I think a lot of people can really resonate with it if I just keep it in there. So I was like, no, I'm just going to keep it in there. It's pretty much what I'm talking about is when my mom said that she wants to be just appreciated, you know? And in the beginning of the video, when I when I gave my mom and my parents what I gave them, I was speaking about how I'm always so busy and I'm always grinding all the fucking time. And I'm really trying to really focus on, focus on this YouTube stuff now. And the reason why I wanted to leave it in there is because I think a lot of people can really relate to that. And a lot of people, they're, they're entrepreneurs. They have that mindset. They have their focus on their craft or their dreams or their goals and they're so locked in that they want to get it so bad but when you deal with people that are entrepreneurs the people that are sharks and people that are hungry for success and they'll do whatever it takes to work to get to that point where they want to be where they're at where they want to be fortunately it's sacri it's, it takes a lot of time it really does a lot, a lot of time a lot of dedication but with that time dedication and passion and love you're sacrificing the people that you have relationships with whether that, whether that's your girlfriend your mom your or a family member or your father or brother or, or friends family whatever the case may be even pets like you're sacrificing those relationships with the people that you care about and a lot of times that can taint and also even end those relationships that you have with those people it sucks but we all go through those experiences that we um that we have like a villain arc you know what i'm saying it's like a popular thing now you guys seen mine when i was dating that girl that called the cops and me told them that i abducted her and abused her and i'm hitting her and all types of wild shit when i I have it on video, I never touched her. But being there for that person at the worst time that they ever been in their entire life, like when they lost that family member and, and me having that happen to me, like literally a couple months later, it's like, you know, what the fuck? It like, it put me in a state that it was like a fight or flight. Like, bro, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you need, you have so many things that you need to focus on that you're not where you are, where you could remotely be. Like, you need to lock in and you need to work. So I started making more money. I started really hustling this whole YouTube stuff again. I'm finally at the point now that I really want to start bleeding that hustle into my main channel again. And again, I'm not really going to tell you guys like what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do this shit because I just, I just want to work. I just want to do it. And I'm so happy that we all go through those experiences in life that it kind of smacks us back to reality. And that was one of those moments for me. I was able to share with you guys in the world, but you know, I don't know, man. I'm, I, I just, I just really wanted to leave that in there. Cause I know a lot of y'all could resonate with it, would resonate with that. I know a lot of y'all some really hard workers out there that also want to be YouTubers or also want to be TikTokers or, or, or singers, rappers, whatever the case may be. But unfortunately, a lot of this comes with potential ruin of those set relationships. But it's, it's kind of up to you and that person that you're locked in with or people that that you uh, can't allow it to go out that way. But um. Uh, so then this is my dream sign. Now we got another another video up now. Apologies, what are you doing? I'm out. Moving on, that's easy, too quick, acting like I'm not rich Fuck these IG hoes, I'd rather have a block, bitch She been playing on my heartstrings like a guitar pick I know what broken hearts mean, was trying to die